What's up guys, it's your boy Thing Messiah. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best supplements that you can use to help you lose fat. Okay, and first of all, I just want to get out of the way. Supplements are not what make you lose fat. What makes you lose fat is being in a calorie deficit, okay? But some of these supplements make it easier for you to be in a calorie deficit and make it so that your diet within that calorie deficit is more suitable for your goals, as in preserving as much muscle as possible and losing as much fat as possible. But before we get into this stuff here, all of this stuff pales in comparison to this supplement that I've just created, okay? And this is the secret six pack serum, okay? And the reason why this product is so groundbreaking is because it utilizes this technique called fat cell discombobulation. And the whole science behind fat cell discombobulation is when you ingest this product, okay, it goes right down and agitates the protein cells and the protein cells discombobulate the fat cells and the fat cells say, oh no, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And then you excrete them and get shredded, okay. And the groundbreaking secret behind this supplement is that the way you ingest it is not by taking it through the mouth, okay, that is so 2019, okay. To get 100% effectiveness out of this serum, you need to snort it. And the reason is because when you snort it, it doesn't go to your stomach, it goes straight to your brain, which tells your protein cell to discombobulate the fat cells. Okay, when you take it through the mouth, it goes to the stomach, and the stomach acid undiscombobulates the fat cells. So that's not what we want. If you want maximum effects, snort it. Okay, so, Secret Six Pack Serum, it's the one for you. All right guys, so obviously that was a joke, right? But the whole point of that skit was to show you how useless some of the supplements on the market are because there's so many supplements out there that are just scams. I saw a product the other week that was a, um, a six pack spray. It says that you could spray it and you'll get a six pack. So many of these, you know, flat tummy teas and things like that, they're just literally, they're scams, okay? Those things are not going to get you to lose fat, okay? What's going to get you to lose fat is being in a calorie deficit, okay? So don't think that by me showing you these supplements, this means that if you change nothing else and add these to your diet, you're going to lose fat. That's not how it works. What makes you lose fat is a calorie deficit. However, what these foods do is make it so that it's easier to be in a calorie deficit and your macronutrient breakup, which is a split of proteins, carbohydrates and fats in your diet, is a lot more optimal for sparing muscle and targeting fat. So these are just some of my personal favourites. Um, there's a bunch of them and I'm going to go through and explain exactly why each of these are beneficial for fat loss, okay? And obviously all of these are from my protein. I am sponsored by my protein. So if you want anything in this video, anything literally from my protein, you can get it 35% off with my code Nate35. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the first one. So the main thing about your diet when you're cutting is that your protein needs to increase. And this is for a variety of reasons. But the first one is that protein is more satiating. So this means that protein is going to make you feel more full. So that's going to be easier for you to eat less food because obviously you need to be in a calorie deficit, okay? So having a higher protein diet, first of all, just off of that is going to be more beneficial fat loss, okay? The second reason is that intaking more protein is going to decrease the chance of you losing muscle in your cut. Um, because when you're on a cut in a calorie deficit, uh, you run the risk of losing muscle because your body essentially doesn't have enough energy. So it starts using its own cells and we want it to use our fat cells for energy. But if you're not taking enough protein, you're gonna run the risk of your body using its muscle cells for energy. And that's what we don't want, okay? That's how you lose muscle and look all shrunk up after a cut. Okay, so these are some of my personal favorites and I'm gonna get into why these are beneficial. So the first one is impact weight isolate, okay? And to be honest, any whey protein would be good, right? Because the only real difference between an isolate and a normal whey is that an isolate is going to be pretty much just pure protein, whereas with a whey, you could have 25 grams of whey and only 18 grams of, of it is protein, okay? And usually with the isolates, you're gonna get less calories for the same amount of protein, uh, so that's beneficial in a cut. But really and truly, this is a difference of about, you know, 10 to 12 calories, maybe 20 at the most, okay? So the reason why I like isolate is because obviously it's a concentrated form of protein, has a a lot of protein and a small amount of calories. One serving of this is 20 grams of protein and only 90 calories. So that's really beneficial because um, you should be eating around one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And obviously right now I'm like 190, like in the high 190 pounds, like I think like 198 or something like that, 197. Uh, so I need, I'm needing about, you know, 200 grams of protein a day, which is quite difficult to do with normal food so i supplement it with 
impact wear isolate or normal impact wear it doesn't really matter either way because as i said you're only saving about 10 calories by using the isolate but this is just something that you know can help you cut down on your calories the next one is protein bars i really like protein bars um my favorite ones for my protein is either the protein cookie or the protein brownie but this is what i've got, got now the um, my bar zero and this is because these have a ridiculously high amount of protein in them for the size that they are so the protein cookie is literally about this big right i don't think i have any on me right now but i'll put a picture up of it but the protein brownie especially is only about this big but it's got 40 grams no 38 grams of protein in it, which is basically 40 right so 38 grams of protein in that small you know 300 calorie cookie is ridiculous and the reason why this is good is because it gives you something to snack on throughout the day and not feel guilty and obviously it's like a little sweet treat but also has like zero sugar and tons of protein which is going to help you hit your protein goals um, so those are really good snacks that I recommend for cut especially and I even have them when I'm bulking because you know it's not that hard to fit in a little cookie and it's got 38 grams of protein in it so you can't lose with that one the next one's going to be the protein pancake mix okay so a popular breakfast is pancakes but when you're on a diet uh, you may not be able to fit that into your diet because um, you know pancakes have a lot of carbohydrates in them they've got a lot of fat in them um, so it may be too many calories but with this a serving of this is only 184 calories with 32 grams of protein in it okay so that's great for being on a diet because you can easily fit that in even two servings of that that's like what 360 calories with 64 grams of protein like that is nuts there's no way you can't fit that into your diet so you know something like this you know you throw in some fruit you know maybe some bananas some strawberries and stuff like that blueberries i don't know get fancy with it um but this is just something that i really recommend for those especially with a sweet tooth you know you could have this for breakfast you could have it as a snack as a dessert literally the world's your oyster and going along with that is their sugar-free syrup so with a lot of our meals we don't look at you know how much um the syrups and sugary stuff can really add up so a serving of syrup could be like all like 100 calories or something like that so the sugar-free syrup it goes along nicely with the pancakes and yeah you're just going to be saving calories here and there because a lot of times you don't really realize um a lot of the calories like when you go somewhere and just have pancakes you'll be pouring on the syrup and not even thinking about how many calories that is but if you pour on a fair amount of syrup that could be you know 100 100 plus calories so that's something to consider you know if you want to you know save those extra calories also another thing that my protein's got that i've been really liking recently is this protein water and bear in mind okay none of this stuff is necessary okay but this is something that i really like because with the protein water it literally just tastes like a normal drink like a normal robinson squash or something but it's got 15 grams of protein obviously that's 60 calories um so this is just something else that really helps you um get to your protein goals almost seamlessly because sometimes i do get a bit tired of whey protein because you know it's like a milkshake and eat, having a milkshake like a pretty big milkshake every single day does sometimes get a bit tiring like i'm not really in the mood for it so i can have this instead you know two of these this is 30 grams of protein and just tastes like i'm drinking juice so i'd really recommend this because it makes getting to your protein goals seamless um you don't even think about it so i'd really recommend this lastly we've got caffeine okay my protein does these pure caffeine tablets and this is because when you're on a cut okay you're often going oftentimes going to be low on energy so caffeine is pretty much the best and most widely used natural stimulant so for those people who don't like coffee or those people who don't like energy drinks and stuff like that but you want that caffeine in you to give you that extra boost that extra push especially for your workouts but just throughout the day because as i said on a cut you're going to be a lot more tired and like lethargic than you usually would be i really recommend these another one you can throw in is creatine okay obviously this isn't specific for cutting creatine is a good supplement to use you know at any time of year bulking cutting doesn't really matter so creatine has been shown to improve your performance within the gym so if you weren't already doing creatine starting creatine in your cut could be a good idea because it could help you hold into some of your performance in the gym only thing with creatine is that it does lead to more water retention um, so this can sometimes throw off your daily weigh and because you might be tracking your weight and sometimes with creatine your weight's going to go up because of the water retention um, so don't be put off by this because this isn't fat gain this is just going to be water gain and it's going to be intramuscular water gain so you're not just going to look like a bloated watery mess it's going to be like literally it's going to be water within the muscles going to make the muscles have a more 
full appearance and not everywhere else. So I'd recommend creatine and I'm probably going to start it actually. I also think it's good to note that my protein have pretty much all this stuff in a vegan form as well. So here is the vegan protein blend. I've got this for my dad because my dad's a vegan. And then we've got the vegan pancake mix. So yeah, if you're, if you're watching my channel and you're vegan, uh, my protein's got stuff for you as well. But yeah guys, so obviously the point of this video was for me to show you the kind of supplements that I like to take within my cup. And as I said, supplements are not what makes you lose fat, okay? It is going to be your diet as a whole and being in a calorie deficit, but supplements are going to make it a bit easier for you to get into that calorie deficit and make it so that you're hitting your protein goals and everything like that. Because I'm telling you, it would be pretty much impossible for me to hit my protein goals without some form of whey protein or a system because I just don't eat that much meat you know I'm not gonna have you know a huge piece of meat and stuff like that so but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to do more videos like this you know supplements for bulking supplements for maintaining or something like that I'd really uh, be up to giving you guys a video for that and yeah if you like the video make sure you smash the like button make sure you subscribe uh, and I hope you guys are all doing well see you guys in the next video peace